Restoring canals really today, rather than as it used to be all about getting boats onto water, which of course it inevitably is, it's really today about health and well-being for much more than just boats on water. It's going to offer lots of different things. From just people enjoying the canal to walk along, for mental health. I think it's a British thing that we love being by water. To me, it's a haven of peace amongst wildlife. Very relaxing very restful. It's almost like a slower pace of life nowadays. There's so much that the canal restoration can offer. It's just great to, to get at, particularly under the current COVID restrictions. You've actually got something to look forward to, somewhere that you can escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. The heritage of the two canals going back to 1796 when the Shrewsbury Canal was built. The Newport Canal opened in 1835 finished off by Thomas Telford. His genius is so involved in Telford area with building that they named the town we now live in after him. I just stand back in utter amazement at what these guys did with just their hands over 200 years ago. It's truly remarkable. During my lifetime, I certainly hope to be able to see part of the canal and indeed its associated buildings returned and repurposed to a modern day use. And hopefully encourage youngsters, children visiting. We will have exhibitions for them about Telford and his incredible engineering works and how that sort of work can fit into today's world. We've worked with some of the local authorities at Telford and Reakin Council and Shropshire Council to get people that are recovering from mental illness out working with us. And it's been a really, really great thing to be part of, to see people get well by just coming and getting their hands dirty and doing something completely physical. I have a, a boat of my own, a narrow boat. I feel alive and really relaxed. And people seem to react to that, so I generally find the people I meet all the canals are very friendly, very helpful. I enjoy paddleboarding, so for me, I'll be able to use that as another location to paddleboard on. Before joining the Trust, I literally thought I'd just be going down every Saturday, just doing little bits and bobs, handing people stuff. I didn't realise how involved I'd actually be with the restoration. I'm just learning so much. The first thing I would do would be to look on our web page, try and get hold of a copy of our magazine. We are desperately short of volunteers. There's no, never any pressure with our work parties on volunteers. You do as much or as little as you want to. Come and join us. It's pretty cheap to do. We're one of the least costly trusts in the country to join. It's only £10 for everybody that lives at the same address. We'd love them to become involved. As simply as just supporting the work parties on the day with some cake and a cup of tea. But everybody can help. You can help us with running the trust itself, help on the website. Update our social media platforms. Even just little things of spreading the word about the trust. Currently we've got 1,400 members, which is pretty good. We'd like lots more. The way you can do that is just to go to our website, www.sncanal.org.uk. A trust like they're kind of like my family now. And during a time where I couldn't see my friends or family, it's been nice to have that sort of support group there. It's nice to go down every weekend to see everyone. The companionship and comradeship between what are an incredible group of volunteers. You've got to be sort of slightly bonkers to want to go and sort of get yourself absolutely covered in mud digging out canals in the middle of the winter, haven't you? <laughs> it's, but it's the case that when we all get together, there's a real friendship that develops. For me, it was a wow moment. I stood there and I couldn't believe that beautiful places like this existed so close to where we are. I really hope that it's all up and running and connected to the Shropshire Union. I hope I'm paddleboarding on it and thinking, wow, like I helped create that, like I built that wall. That's, I really, really hope that's where it is in 10 years time. And maybe like if I do eventually have children or my friends have children, then I can take them down there and just show what I've helped create and be really proud of it. Like part of our history and heritage being restored.